As House Republicans prepare to hear testimony from whistleblowers on the Hunter Biden case, the Justice Department appears to be preparing for another Donald Trump indictment. The contrast between how both investigations have unfolded is stark. The DOJ has been aggressive in going after Trump. In the Biden family case, IRS whistleblowers have come forward to say the DOJ blocked parts of the probe. Biden's allies have tried to discredit the whistleblowers. These whistleblowers are credible. They've never had a blemish in their records, and everything they testified under oath uh, during their transcribed interview in Ways and Means Committee, we've been able to back up with bank records in our investigation. In Trump's case, the DOJ obtained a search warrant to raid Trump's Mar-a-Lago home, even though his lawyers had been cooperating with the inquiry into his classified documents. In the Hunter Biden case, the DOJ slow-walked proposed search warrants of the residence he was staying in and of his storage unit. Both were places that investigators believed Hunter Biden had kept incriminating evidence. In the Trump case, the former president's lawyers never got a heads up about the FBI showing up for a raid. In the Hunter Biden case, the president's son got a secret heads up from the DOJ about plans to show up for an interview. In the Trump case, dozens of witnesses have been hauled before grand juries to testify in the classified document and January 6 cases. In the Hunter Biden case, the DOJ blocked IRS investigators from conducting all but a small handful of interviews, and even in those, the DOJ limited what questions the IRS could ask. The whistleblower testimony this week could shed more light on the details of the Hunter Biden case. What that record shows is preferential treatment for the president's son and, um, and statements about uh, U.S. Attorney Weiss, who has said that he, saw, he told agents at that uh, October 7, 2022 meeting that he, would, he sought special counsel approval from DOJ and was denied it. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on right now. But still, Republicans and the public have questions about why the DOJ has been so lenient. If Trump does face federal charges for his actions after the 2020 election, the perception of unequal treatment is likely to deepen. Sarah Bedford for The Washington Examiner.